She's now, gonna now, be the mother as best as she can. Most of these hoes will just put their kid in a crib and forget about them. Give them a bottle here. Well, now they got the little baby monitors. Yeah. They throw the baby monitor in there and be done with them. Shit, these bitches be giving these babies some uh, NyQuil, man. <laughs> hey, dude, I've They give them NyQuil. They give them drugs, probably give them some Xanax. Just to show them the fuck up. Just to get them out of their, uh, out of their hands. How many times you hear about fires, you hear about the mama and the baby's dying. The mom be so goddamn stoned and fucked up, the baby be drugged in the baby crib, or can't walk and get out and save herself anyway. I get a... These women are gone, man. They gone, man. How many times you ever hear about a father and his kids dying in a fire? Well, I'm personally never heard of. It, but oh, I've heard about a bunch oh, of. Oh yeah, because the woman, the woman ain't going to put her life on the line and say she can't say nobody. She did. Yeah, I hear all the time about men going into a, going into a burning house to save people they don't even know. I've heard about men being saved pets. Right, pets. It's pets. That Xbox? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, because that's a, you know that's an Israel spirit that helps people. These manly ass men they won't do no shit like that. These manly ass shit. I just heard about a dude that went in for his PlayStation and didn't try to save the kids. Oh, that's fucked up. Well, what? Like, well, you hear about it all the time that like a lot of men. You got a lot of faggot ass men out here too. Don't get us wrong. Don't get it twisted. And, uh, they'll be alone with their kids. And they try to play an Xbox and PlayStation and the baby won't shut up. So they'll take the baby, throw him against the wall, or smother him and kill him. You know what I mean? Just so they can play PlayStation. You know how many times I've been reading all about that this whole entire year? Six. And I'm Six. talking about Six. this whole entire year I've been hearing about these women boyfriends that's in the house that have killed the baby, that beat them to death. The less of yeah. them even? Yep. A lot of times, I've yeah. been reading about this all year long with different cases. Man, different, this, uh, this one fool, he tattooed all over his shit. Oh, I mean, looked like a goddamn, looked like a piece of garbage. Obviously, killed the. Uh, he's 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 in a shootout with two babies in the back seat. One of them got. Oh shot. yeah, he was shooting out with the dude on. That was on Costas. Right, right. Yep, yeah, that's right. That's right. And check it out. The family was like, "Oh, he's a good guy. He loves his. He loved his nephew." Yeah. Like, what the fuck? And then he went to court, and he showed up in court after being in jail with braids oh, up in his so hair. But he's gay as fuck. I ain't never seen such foolishness in my life. Never seen such foolishness in my life. Don't get a twist. These women ain't off the hook, but these men ain't off the hook either. They need to take responsibility for it. For being a witness. This goes into what you're supposed to be teaching your kids, man. I fucking hate this man, man. If all these men just wake the fuck up and stand up, and there won't be no adultery going on. But now, That'd be man, too easy. They ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Hell no, that ain't gonna happen. They ain't gonna happen. Man, half these people, they gonna take that chip. When they start passing the microchips out, they gonna take them willingly. There's gonna be a long line around the damn corner to take that microchip. It's gonna be way more than that, man. These motherfuckers gonna be fighting to line up in that line. They're gonna be fighting. Niggas gonna be getting knocked out being in line just before you get ahead. They're gonna knock, be knocking motherfuckers out to get up to the front of, front of the line. Okay. A big they ass already, nigga that's gonna wanna eat, man, that's gonna wanna eat. They already, they all, a lot of them already got a, the EBT. Yeah. And they gonna move out of his way anyway. They see a big, mean, crazy looking motherfucker coming. Yeah. They gonna move, go on, nigga. Go and get your chip. Go and get your chip. Yeah. That yeah. motherfucker that's like that in that mentality, he was a demon ever since he was a child. Raised by his mom. Right, he was a demon ever since he was to be a, an older man in his 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. A monster. This is the whole his whole entire life. You want to talk about most mm -hmm. preserving people from death? Man, he got a lot of people under that scope right now. This That's whole good. goddamn nation under that scope. All of them, all these people. All of them. I'm talking about Israelites. Fuck the Israelites, man. Fuck them Hamites and them Arabs. Fuck them. We're talking about Israelites. I got scriptures for that. You know what I mean? We're talking about you. You know, he going into like what you got it. Yeah, read this right here. You know here. what I'm saying? I'll find Ain't nobody going to be growing up like that. They, they, they just follow this right here. Wicked ass. I'm talking about my, like my brother, for example, man, was a demon from, from the day, from as far back as I can fucking remember. As 
far back as I can think of, man. I remember him being a no good piece of shit. As a child, as a young kid, he was a piece of garbage. Now he's out of prison again. After doing another, what, 14, 13, 12 years, whatever it is. He's on the streets again. Now, was he gonna come out here and be a productive citizen? After being a crackhead, child molesting piece of shit? He you know he's a homosexual because he's getting busy with motherfuckers in prison. What's he gonna do out there on the street with the side? Being part of it. Oh, 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 oh. They should ain't have prison. They should just put all the motherfuckers to death. He was man. supposed to have been put to death. Yeah. Most likely got him preserved because he was shot up two on two different occasions and lived through both of them. Shot multiple times. So most high preserve some people to death. Yeah, that's how you how wicked this shit. You can you can molest a child and they'll just throw you in prison. And then you can get out. You supposed to get put to death for that, man. If you kill somebody, if you murder somebody, you supposed to get put to death, man. There ain't no debate in that. You supposed to get put to fucking death. But nah, you know you can you can murder somebody, you can only do like 10 years now. Deuteronomy 6 and 1. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments statutes, which I command thee. Statutes and commandments. Don't be a faggot. Don't commit adultery. Okay? Keep going. Which I commanded thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that the days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And yeah, when you look at, every time you say, it says Lord in all capital letters, every time you look that word up, Lord in the Hebrew, it says Yahweh. That's the Most High's name, okay? It ain't say Allah. It ain't say none of these other gods, okay? But this is also a cut to all these fools out there who say you don't we don't you don't have to know the Lord's name. You know what I mean? We got it in that 6 and 4. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord or God is one Lord. It, it, it don't really say the Lord. You look it up in Hebrew, it says God's name, which is Yahweh. Okay, that's what it says. Keep going. And thou shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. It says you shall love Yahweh with all your heart. Keep going. And with all thy soul. With all your soul. Keep going. And with all thy might. That's the first commandment. Keep going. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. It's going back to what you, how you're supposed to raise your children. You're supposed to teach these commandments to your children. Like a lot of these women, like we was going back, they don't teach their children even how to read, let alone the Bible. How the hell are they going to read the Bible if they can't even read to begin with? You know what I'm saying? Most of these kids, they can't, by their high school, still can't fucking read. Oh, look at this airplane going by. my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit it hath gathered me. The only time a woman is ever going to pick up a Bible when something bad happens. You know what I mean? Like a uh, like when 9-11 happened, everybody thought the end of the world was coming, so everybody ran out and bought Bibles. Now all of a sudden they want to read the Bible. Or some personal tragedy. Or a personal, yeah. 
or they just got uh, raped or something bad just got happened cancer. to them. They had, the they, doctor said, yeah. y'all see uh, cancer tulips or whatever in your ass. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, whatever they call cancer tulips. Cancer here come, tulips? This is my nephew. I hope this is him. Because I ain't seen him in a while. I've been wanting to see him. Deuteronomy 6 and 6. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Yeah, so you ain't supposed to be teaching your kids the, the drug game and the rap game or football. And that like most of these men, they ain't teaching their children the Bible. You know what they doing? They getting them ready for the NFL and the NBA when they in goddamn kindergarten. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't they scouting out uh, LeBron when he was in middle school? You know what I'm saying? That's how stupid these people are. They're a bunch of goddamn dreamers. They, they, they raise their children up to be rappers. And that's all they'll teach them, teach them how to rap. The fuck that shit. Uh, keep going. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down. And when thou rises up. Now you supposed to be teaching your children the scriptures all day. You know what I mean? But most of these kids out here, they don't know the Ten Commandments. They never even heard of the Ten Commandments, man. I mean, that's it. Because there's more laws than just the Ten Commandments. But the Ten Commandments is the most important. And, they, and these kids out here, they don't even know the story of Moses. These days, they don't, they don't know who Moses is. You know what I'm saying? They have no idea that Moses is the one that brought down the Ten Commandments. Never heard of that. You know, but they know about all these bullshit ass cartoons and shit they got on TV. And they know about all these rappers and all this other nonsense. Uh, that was the point on that one. You can read more if you want. Yeah. It's all fire. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got people that train their kid to be fucking rappers, man. This is a goddamn shame. <laughs> yeah, creep up on him. Yeah. <laughs> I say walk up on him, look at it like what? Oh, we was just talking. Same part, they in the world. They in the yeah, world. I know. They in the world, they think about none of this too. I found this out here, so I don't give it to you. I mean, once you, once you can't get, once somebody rejects the truth so many times, he just smashes. Check this out. This motherfucker got blue contacts in his eyes. Yeah, blue I've seen that blue shit. Blue contacts in his eyes. He's down here being a homosexual. He's down here, so I already heard him. Right well, I have Both seen black people with yeah. actual blue eyes, though. Yeah, that's my nephew. Oh, I'm, I know you know. I know I'm just saying. But I've actually, but I've actually seen the. Uh, I knew this black girl that had blue eyes. I grew up with that black guy with blue eyes. Oh yeah. I grew up with this black guy with green eyes too. You mean that bitch used to come to the expo with a little short girl? He does. And I first seen him, I was like, this motherfucker got blue eyes. That's a long time. That was like the same shape. Blue eyes. 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 Blue ey
goddamn bunch of whole goddamn bunch of devils. But you know, hey, scripture says, woe to him that is rich. You know? It said, uh, it said it's easier for a, a camel to go to the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, I got a scripture for that. Going to the rich man, I got a scripture for that. the rich man. I mean, you know, hey. Hey, you got riches, man. Ain't no way in shape and form you gonna be thinking about doing that. It's true. Hell no. Ain't no way. I mean, now I can get some money and I'm always gonna come out. I'm gonna do everything I can to some help this camp increase. Oh, if I got some money, then we be having all the kind of good shit cameras. Right. We be out here with microphones. I'll be invested in transportation. We be out here with some motherfucking waterproof laptops that you can take <laughs> underwater. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. We for real though, for real yeah. though. I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I do. Cause when I came in the truth, I came in it. Cause I was all these years, all these years has been an adult. I was always looking for brothers. Looking for brothers. I never felt like I had brothers out in the world. And this was even before I even came in the truth. I was look I was consciously looking for the truth and looking for brothers. And when I finally came in, I came, I found some brothers. I came all in. Because I was excited. I found some brothers, you know? I found some brothers. So I do everything I can to try and keep everybody together, man. So I already know the most I don't want you in, he don't want you in there. But you know, it's just my, you know, it's just where I'm how I am as a, as a, being spiritual. Trying to keep all the brothers together, keep it rolling. Keep that oil, keep that engine oil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I came out, I was excited, man. Like I said, I was excited to find some brothers, man. Some people that I can actually sit and talk to and have shit in common with. Right. As to something to do with this, that's relevant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, check this out. My friend circle get real smaller. <laughs> you I, know? Got, I got a script for you. This is a... Uh, this is James 2 and 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised them that love him? Who relate to that? Rich in faith. That's us. That's men of the Lord. That's a real true men of the Lord. Rich in faith. Yeah, we ain't got many shekels. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn Jew motherfuckers got all the shekels. We ain't got shit. Ain't nothing else important in this world but this word of my brothers, man. Me to me. Ain't nothing. 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 You know, I get mad at y'all motherfuckers when I don't, I don't see y'all. I get mad at y'all when I don't see y'all, man. I do. I get, I get mad. Watch this. Uh, this is James 2 and 6. It says, uh, but ye have, oh, look. This scripture right here is a cut. Cause you got people on YouTube who talk shit about us, like y'all look like bums. Look like Get a job, motherfuckers. Yeah, and uh, be a bum. they talk shit about uh, the right. elders of Great Millstone. Yeah. Like Nate, they call them the uh, bummer lights. Yeah. And well, it, this is what the Bible says. It says, "But ye have despised the poor. Oof. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before judgment seats." Damn. That's talking about the courthouse. Damn right. They take you up in that courthouse and they just shake your ass down and take all your money. Man. That's a spirit too, because that's what me and Paul was rapping about before we got Yeah. He was one of the men talking about this shit. That's what it's all. It's all you feel that pinch, don't you? You in that system downtown, you gotta get up there. Man, who the fuck wanna get up in the morning and go to court? Let alone go to work, but you gotta get up to go to fucking court. There's hundreds of people there. And, right. and each area, and, and every last, and all them people ain't criminals. Well, they are criminals according to the Bible. But of course, but have they actually committed any crimes? They on there for some bullshit. Tra traffic violations. A DUI is bullshit. Only reason they got DUIs is to take your fucking money. That's the only reason they passing out DUIs. Is it take, they don't care about saving no one's lives. They want to kill you people, man. Damn. Fucking people are stupid as hell, man. It's amazing. Man. Fucking DUI. Mate, I can I could drink a fucking whole gallon of whiskey and drive a perfectly straight line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're right. Talk about fucking DUI. You're going to talk about you got a blow. Motherfucking. The Lord, y'all got to pay for this, man. I'm trying to find this one of the little one down the street. Hey, Revelation 2 and 9 talks about that. Yeah, this is the one where he gave us the riches, though. 
gave us Rich. We're, we're, uh, we're talking about the New Testament? Yep. Riches of the Kingdom. Here it is. Matthew 6, maybe? That's all that goes into it. Here it is. I'm not sure. Right here. This is 2 Corinthians. You finish with that one you got there? No, I read that. I'll go back into it. I haven't finished it yet. That's good. This ahead. is 2 Corinthians 8 and 9. For ye know the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. Oh, that's talking about the Lord himself, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, he's, the, he's the son of David. Everybody call him the son of David. That's because he came from that royal line. The King Solomon was the richest man that ever lived. And everybody knew that he came from that from that royal line, from the from the holy seat of David, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was the king of Israel. When they crucified him, they put it on the cross. King of the Jews in three different languages, in Latin, Hebrew, and uh, Greek. Yeah, yeah. He was he was born into money. He had money. Yeah, he was born into money. Yeah. You know, he got he was, I mean, the Lord. But he, let me read it again. For you know the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai. His family had money, because even his uh carpentry. His carpentry, even his uh uncle, uh John the Baptist's father, he was a uh, priest. The three kings gave him gold oh, today. Yeah, right. When he was born, they they brought gold to him when he was born. That's right. Gold. He was paid from the get. That's right. Because everybody knew it was him. There yeah. were certain people that knew it was him. That's a good point. Certain people knew it was him. For you know that the grace of our Lord, your house shot, that. And they just ain't giving him just a little tiny bit of gold. They gave him some gold. They gave him real much. Yeah. I mean, that's probably enough gold for the last the rest of his life. You know what I'm saying? All right, we good. So, that's so here it goes ambassadors. Black people. Ambassador to America. That though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. That's a bad scripture. Oh, yeah, because the scripture also said that uh, birds have their nests. The foxes have their holes, but the son of man don't have anywhere to lay his head. He didn't give a goddamn about having a giant house and having money. Your money don't mean shit, okay? You ain't taking a single penny with you. All you rich devils, you, all your, you gonna lose all your riches, okay? You gonna lose, yeah, y'all some devils. Bunch of faggots. People like that. This goes back to them devils too. This is really talking about Israel. It's garbage, man. Let me read this again. James 2 and 6. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you, and rich men oppress you. Alright. That's why when you go get a job and you work all week long, you go get your paycheck, half your money's missing. That took out half your fucking money in taxes. And then you got these motherfuckers that take up and say, oh, we need taxes. The taxes help pay for stuff. Man, that, them taxes are going to a politician's pockets. It's going to a, a banker's pocket. It, it, ain't, it ain't going into fixing these goddamn roads. You see all these goddamn potholes? All the bridges are collapsing. The roads are collapsing. Right. And he, I still don't see no shortage of winning bagels and big old giant boats being pulled by trucks. We got no kind of transit Somebody system. Somebody making that money? You go, you go to Japan, they got beautiful trains that go 200 miles an hour everywhere. The best public transit system you could ask for. Well, in, in America, you got some raggedy ass Coda buses. They can't get you nowhere on time. You be late every time catching a Coda bus. <laughs> raggedy ass shit, man. They, they look, they're taking your money and, and they're keeping it. They're not, they're not helping you with that money. That's just going towards missiles. And here's another thing too. The Federal Reserve, they just print money, okay? They just print it. They print it out of thin air in something they call fiat currency. Fiat just means, like the Bible said in the beginning, fiat lux, let there be light. Like instantaneous, the most high instantly made light. So the, so the fiat currency is money made out of nothing. <laughs> so if they can make money out of nothing and print money out of nothing, then why the hell we got to pay taxes? What kind of goddamn sense does that make? Ass shit. That's some strange shit if you ask me. It's just to keep your ass oppressed and to keep you hungry and to keep you down. Yeah, because every time they print more and more of that, that garbage, and they got to pay interest on it. Every, every dollar they print, they 
pay interest on every one. Every one that's spent. Every fucking coin that's spent. They got to pay interest on that shit. I got that back test. He says that's definitely on one and eleven how this whole system will collapse. Your American let me read, financial fucking dream. Let me read the rest of this real quick, and then we can bring that out. It says, let me read this one more time. But ye have, this is James 2 and 6. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw before the judgment seats. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, it says according to the scripture, not your own thoughts and your own beliefs. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. I mean, that's the point. Uh, you got, are you going to bring that up? Yeah, we're talking about these rich ass motherfuckers. Yeah. They gonna, you know, uh, um, you, we're going to be hearing more and more about these devils doing swan dives off of fucking tower buildings anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, like. Yeah, first and shit. You had like uh, nine, ten JP Morgan. Bankers a lot of them, commit man. suicide. Yep, head jumping head first. Yeah, so that's because something bad is coming, man. Yeah, because you know what? It's already happened. It's been happening. Like with the BRICS nations, with Russia, you know, with Brazil, Russia, Russia India. Russia just signed that major uh, oil deal with China. Uh, South America. Right. Russia because, and China. Russia and China, they both about to drop the American dollar. Hey, check this out. I was reading that. Um, China. South Korea and Japan are all, they said they're creeping toward, no, they said they're tiptoeing toward secret trade deals. So everybody's cutting America that's got, out. That's that, uh, the, the, uh, what's that new trade deal they got? I have to look that up. Everybody's cutting America out. So the, uh, these rich devils that, are, that, are, that exploited the people, the Israelites here in America, they, they're gonna start feeling that pinch. They gonna start feeling that pinch. They ain't making that money no more. All them current, all them FRNs that the mother nations like Russia, China, Iran, they don't use American dollars. So all that dollar that's floating over there is gonna come back here. You know your Super money. Inflation. You know your money's not worth nothing, right? It's green. It's worth. Geez, it it's worth, green. It ain't worth a goddamn thing. I got a green crayon. Can I go buy a car with it? How about if I print? How about if I went home stupid, and I man. and I printed my face out on some paper and said this is worth. Twenty dollars. That, that it's worth just as much as the shit in your pocket. What do you want? You want gold standard? Well, that's a, gold is real money. Is it not? It's just a, it's just a mineral. It's it, like a rock. No, it, no, mineral. it's not just a mineral. Gold is very. It's first of all, it's, a, it's an uh, almost all computers have gold in it. Without gold, we wouldn't even have computers. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's very, very weird. It's yeah, right. you need gold. It's one of the most valuable. It's one of the best conductors of electricity. They've known that since the ancient world. Gold is very valuable. Silver is very valuable. But this is even more valuable than this word. What is that? That's called the Holy Bible. You ever seen one of them before? I have King James Version. That's what Boy, we I'm use. I'm a born again Christian. Oh, yeah. Baptized January 1st, 2012. Baptized. <laughs> baptized with what? Holy Ghost. I was baptized with the Holy Ghost. Baptized with water. That's a good water. answer, though. Full, 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 full baptism. Full Not with a squirt gun. Not with a little water baptism. on the head. Well, well, the baptism is the spirit. It ain't with water. The Lord, hey, get that scripture, uh, Matthew. Uh, he, he said, John the Baptist baptized you with water, but I baptize you with fire. That's right. I'm baptized with fire. Both. I'm baptized with both. Baptized with water is a symbol, symbol of my. Symbol of my. We get baptized. It's a symbol of my. Right right we yeah, we getting baptized right now. That's Let me right. ask. Let it's me ask not, you a question. Not. Far away, brother. You love Jesus, don't you? I do. Hey, that's good, though. That's good. You love Jesus? You're damn right. Well, actually, yeah. Well, you know his real name's not Jesus. Well, that's just... Uh, Emmanuel is one of his names. Well, yeah, that means God is with us. But yeah. there's an actual name. It's in um, Matthew. Right. But Jesus Christ is the title. This is something they call it. It means uh, Jesus means Savior. Christ means the anointing. I know. Yeah. But in Hebrew, his name, is, his name is Yahweh Shai. That's how you say his name in Hebrew. Okay. A lot of people will say, uh, they call him Yahshua, Yeshu. Yeah. What yeah. are you looking for? Spirit. Spirit. The name is very important. Because everybody, everywhere you go in the world, they call the Lord by a different name. Over there in, uh, the Arabs call him Isa. The Mexicans call him Jesus. 
Yeah. They call him Jesus in America. Yeah. So which one is it? That's confusion. That's confusion right there. You know? Uh, yeah, and the Lord said he's not the good. author of confusion. The fall of Babylon, we all start speaking different languages. Right. Until Christ comes back, we will continue to be confused. Well, you agree? Well, no, not right. totally, no, because, because the Lord said if it was possible that the elect would be, be deceived, but the elect will not never be deceived. So all, all these fools, they're going to stay confused. They're going to stay lost. That dude's a Catholic priest right there. I know him. He got, uh, he got some kind of means of the month. Pastor Warren. Huh? His name's Pastor Warren. Oh, you know that guy? But uh, he looks like he has some crazy diseases. Uh, what was I saying? So you think Roman Catholics and Christians? Yeah. 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 Well, they're pagans, actually. I mean, come on, we use a King James Bible, you know? Uh, yeah, you're not the first man that has expressed that opinion. Well, when you examine the Catholic Church, what do you see? Well, First of all, John 3.16 says, oh, you know, and if they accept Christ as their first and Lord and Savior, and they're Christians. Even, you, even you, if they have many there is theological no, errors, which I think they but do. But you can't accept the Lord. He got to accept you. Here you go. This is Mark 1 and 8. Indeed, I baptize you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Yeah. So ain't no baptizing, dumping for people in water, you know. Yeah. Come on, you going down the devil, you come up the same goddamn devil. Actually, you come up out of that water and worse, the devil can't be saved. I'm going to show you something. No, no, no. Baptism, that, baptism doesn't get you saved. What's the baptism no. do? It's just a profession of your, of your it's just a, a profession of your faith in Christ. We're saying it's a public profession. Well, I'm not. I'm not this before, but I can't remember. I went for a long time without being baptized. Okay, now it's all part of the scripture. I lost it, but, but you know, I mean, That's just I, so I just went ahead and get baptized. I got something for you. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 17. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Paul. Paul. That's New Testament. That's the New Testament. Well, the teaching the gospel is the true baptism. Ain't nothing but a show they got going on in the churches. Ain't nothing but a part of their show if they don't got a band. I know. 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 I Right, the pastor be looking. Oh God! Oh, yeah. You see them nipples to that wet shirt? And, yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's wrong, man. man. I saw. I went to the church man. once. The woman was wearing a mini skirt. And that's go, all. Go, go, go. Churches is full yeah. of number women, man. The Lord ain't in none of these churches. Women. women don't have wisdom. Well, yeah. don't have I don't know about that. They don't even know what wisdom the, 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 the Bible said, said, "Let the woman learn at home." Right. The, you ain't really even supposed to have women in the church. Period. period. They supposed to be a home. Taking care of business. You that's know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's an order. You got an order. Dude, this is a manly thing. The Bible is a manly book. It's for men. Okay, man? No, we're, we're not, we're, listen, obviously, but doing the work of the Lord, how, how many women prophets do you see in the Bible? I don't see any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are any women prophets. Matthew, Tony. Mark, Luke, and John. You know what I'm saying? Well, there are more prophets than Now, that. they do got righteous women in the Bible, yeah, no, but yeah. they're not preachers or right. out there. Right. We ain't right. saying the right. women can't believe in nothing crazy like that, but we saying that this is a manly deal right here. Right? This is the men's work. Oh, I got something for you, bro, since you want to say that. Oh, yeah. You know? Because you go up in these churches, it's nothing but whorehouses. It's all they it's our conversations. It's always no, in this no, book. No, 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 no. I, I, can't, I can't hear you that. What, what'd you say, bro? I said these churches are whorehouses. Oh, the they, scripture says they're whorehouses. And they, they actually literally call them whorehouses. The Bible calls them whorehouses. Where's that in the Bible? Hold on, like Jeremiah. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me, house. Let me, yeah, let me read Baldwin this house. to you first, though. So. This is Daniel house. 9 and, um, no. That's not what I want. It's right here. I got my concordance. I've never I seen Bible called. Well, I'm going to show you, though. You know? Here you go. This is, I ain't going to forget. The Lord calls this these women whores. This is Daniel 4 17. This matter is by the... woman in the world? No, no, we never said that. You know, first of all, actually, I'm saying all that. Oh, yeah. There might be some less poorest than others. There's some might think out there that sincere, that really want to do good, yeah. but end up going off anyway, because you can't help but to go off living in this flesh anyway. Well, that's the same with me. You know? Yeah, right. you're right. For every fallen right. woman, there's a hundred fallen men. Right? Well, let me tell you something. Oh, actually, actually, no, for... The, if you're reading the book of Ecclesiastes, it, it said uh, among a thousand... Among a thousand men, this is the Ecclesiastes 7 chapter. Get it. Just get it. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7. 
real quick. Just real quick. Please answer seven. Can you get that? This matter is by the decree of the watchers. I'll let him read this first. And the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it, it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. You don't mention nothing about no damn women. <laughs> the woman is for our pleasure. That's right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call women damn because that's, that's blasphemy. No, of course that was blasphemy. Call them damn? Yeah. What the what scripture says that? He said well, damn women? Damn women. Damn right. The Lord said that he believeth not shall be damned. Right? <laughs> right? Right? I mean, that's all. The word damn is all through the Bible. You know what I mean? So you think all women are damned? No, no, no. No. Well, that's what you were saying. No, no. no. Like like I said, said, there are very few women that are actually, seven, that do want to do right. 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 There are very few men that actually want to do right. You're right. There are very few women. But you know want to know who those very few men are? Those very few men are what you call the elect. That's going to try and do right. Or the elect. Just some, the two, a two third or just some wicked individual, you can't, he's not going to do right. He's not thinking in his mind to do right. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? The law. So only the elect men, only an elect man is waking up every day trying to do right. Hey, and there are no, no women are trying to do right. Well, listen to there are very few women. Listen to the scripture. There are very few women. We'll, we'll right. let the Bible explain it. That's it. Why don't, we, don't, we don't like using our own words. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. So we did. Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth, God shall escape from her. Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, read, start again. He, yeah, I don't think he caught that. Right. You see, he lost it. <laughs> see, he told you. Yeah, I Ecclesi Ecclesiastes listen, listen, listen real careful. 7 and 26. And I found more bitter than death the woman. The woman. The woman. No, the woman. 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 It's going to give you a percentage, though. Right. It gives, it's, going to give, it's going to break it down mathematically. Okay. Whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth, whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her. Whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the sinner shall be taken by her. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, there are wicked women out there. So you listen to this, this though. This is key. Behold, this have I found, says the preacher, counting one by one. Count, he, now he's counting one by one. And that's who? Okay. Solomon. 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 That's right. And Solomon was a man of the Lord, right? The Old Testament. Right? The Old Testament. One by one, he said, Find God. out the account. One by one, he's doing an experiment. Okay, Solomon's doing an experiment. Okay, yeah, science yeah. project. But he's not counting every a single one. Well, he's not counting every single well, one well, in the world. Well, let's just get it out. Let's read. It. Which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found. He said, out uh, of uh, a thousand men, he couldn't find that one righteous. He could only find one righteous man out of a thousand. Okay. So there, now, let me tell you something. Hold there, on, let's finish. No man right is perfectly righteous. Obviously, so you can't listen. say when you so you can't say your man's righteous and your man is not righteous. Well, that's not because the point. it's not it's not a dichotomy. It's that person's not even righteous or not righteous. It's a continuum. Some people are more righteous than others. No, you're wrong right there. Because most people are wicked. Most people are wicked. Most oh, yeah. people are totally no, wicked. wicked. Majority of most people are wicked. No one's totally wicked. Hey, let's brother. finish this part yeah. up. Nobody's totally wicked. Nobody's totally wicked. What you think of? Never mind. Go on. Go on. Oh, read. Go on. Okay. Go on. Well, even, no, even a man one. like Adolf Hitler. Read this. Was yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. A thousand okay. out of so, a thousand? So, so he, has, <laughs> he, has, he, has, he didn't cheat. He didn't have That's every single woman in the world. So, um, um, not every single woman in the world. I mean, you ain't got to go through every single woman. If you go through a thousand women, no. then what's that telling you about the whole? A thousand? That's not even saying a hundred. A thousand or A hundred you go, women. You got Las Vegas, you're gonna find a thousand women. Out of ten women. women. Out of ten. You think he was just gonna do ten? No. <laughs> ten is a, he went to a thousand women. Yeah, it's a statistical That's statistical. Enough. He's telling you something that no, it's if not, you don't get no, it. No, it's not enough. Uh, he could just have the bad luck of running into a thousand whores 
And there could be a <laughs> there could be a oh, Solomon. Oh, Solomon. The hill, there could be a Solomon. Solomon. Solomon we the king about. of Israel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he was perfect. You have no understanding of the Lord. Absolutely no understanding of the Lord. <laughs> I bet you done caught a lot of motherfucking niggas in your time, huh? What? I bet you done caught a lot of motherfucking niggas in your time, man. Don't lie, I don't care if you did. No, wait, look, see, wait, say again. I bet you done caught a whole lot of black people niggas in your time. No. Never. No. And you a damn liar. I didn't say a whole lot. No. I got a scripture for you. I'm part Indian. You I've, been, I've been called a nigger before because I'm part Indian. Who's on your dad, on your dad's side? Mother's side. You ain't no part Indian, then. Whatever. What's your dad? What's your dad? My dad? What do you mean with my dad? What's his nationality? He's Irish, American. Scottish? He's American. There's no such thing as Americans. Yeah, so there's no such thing as African-American. Actually, you're, you're right. right. There's right. no such thing as African-American because we're not African nor are we we're American. About race. But anyway, who race. are you though? What's your nationality? Uh, I'm a part of it. 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 I'm a part of it.